everyone in this video we will solve some practice problems ap chemistry about gas laws let us start by number one nitrogen has a pressure of 452 millimeter mercury what is the pressure in atmosphere and kilopascals definitely to solve this problem we should be aware of the conversion units every one atmosphere corresponds to 760 millimeter mercury and every one atmosphere corresponds to 101.3 kilo pascal now we will start the conversion we have the pressure which is 452 millimeter mercury i will multiply it by the conversion uh, ratio one atmosphere over 660 millimeter mercury and the final answer up to three significant figures 0.5 Nine five atmosphere. Now the pressure I have it into uh, atmosphere. I want to change it into kilopascals. So zero point five nine five atmosphere times one o one point three kilopascal over one atmosphere. And the final answer up to three significant figures, which is sixty point three kilo. Pascal. Move to number two. A sample of nitrogen gas has a volume 452 when at uh, pressure 711 and 26 degree. What would be the volume? So this is another condition of this sample of gas if it were measured at STP. We know that STP conditions at STP, we know that the pressure is one atmosphere and we know that the temperature is zero degree which is 273 kelvin as long as we are dealing with the same sample of the gas it means that the same mass of the gas we are dealing with correspondingly same same number of moles same number of moles in this uh, way we will write the formula that corresponds to same number of moles with different conditions p1 v1 over t1 equal p2 v2 over t2 this is over t2 okay now just let me substitute and the p1 it's given to me here p and the volume i can keep the units because i can cancel them later on but the temperature always should be in kelvin so 711 multiplied by 452 over the temperature which is 299 26.273 to change into kelvin equals 760 v2 over 273 so simple calculation it will lead me to find up to three significant figures volume will be 386 milliliter now number three what is the pressure exerted by 0 0.98 grams of sulfur dioxide placed in 250 millimeter container at a temperature of 25. i will use the formula assuming ideal uh, gases pv equal and rt in this formula units should be as follows p should be in atmosphere volume should be in liter n which is in moles and r which is atmosphere liter over mole kelvin and the temperature should be in kelvin okay now let us proceed and solve for what he wants we have the mass so simply i can write p equal instead of n i can write mass over the molar mass rt and the volume it's placed here after, uh, after i put the volume down now just simple calculation the mass is 0 0.981 r is 0 0.0821 and the temperature 298 at uh, because 25 degrees celsius plus uh, 273 in kelvin over the molar mass of sulfur dioxide which is 64 multiplied by the volume which is milliliter i divide by thousand to be 0 0.25 liter and the answer up to three significant figures is 1.5 atmosphere 
now number five number four sorry what is the molar mass of an unknown gas if the density of the gas is 0 0.762 at a pressure of 0 0.634 and a temperature 25 degree the formula that it's used containing the density pm equal dr t and also there are certain units that are assigned to this formula so pm equal drt the units that should be used always pressure should be in atmosphere mass in gram per mole density in gram per liter such that the units are compatible with each other r is here 0 0.0821 unit is atmosphere liter per uh, kelvin mole and temperature should be in kelvin okay now just let me proceed to solve for the molar mass so the molar mass is equal drt over p now let us substitute the density is given to us 0 0.7 Six two the R zero point zero eight two one the temperature is two nine eight after changing to Kelvin and the pressure is zero point six three four, which gives me up uh, after simple calculation then answer up to three significant figures twenty nine point four gram per mole. For number five, for a given sample of gas molecules, the average kinetic energy depends only on the value of temperature. Always keep in your mind that the kinetic energy is directly proportional to the temperature in Kelvin. So its value depends only on the temperature. Now, Van der Waals equations includes terms that are intent to con uh, correct for which of the following aspects for non-ideal gas. In previous videos, I explained that uh, ideal gases assume that the um, uh, atoms or molecules do not exert forces on each other, while in reality they do exert forces. And in ideal gases, they assume that the uh, gas molecules are pointless, uh, massless, they have no mass, but in reality they have mass and can constitute a volume so this will be the answer van der Waals equation corrects for both volume and intermolecular attractions number seven a sample of unknown gas is found to effuse at the rate of 17.7 millimole per hour under comparable conditions gaseous iodine which is i2 effuses at the rate of 15 what is the molar mass of unknown gas to solve such a problem we use graham's law so graham's law which is uh, the velocity if i start by iodine so the velocity of iodine gas over velocity of x equal radical molar mass of x over molar mass of iodine uh, that definitely graham's law depends on the concept which is the kinetic energy is uh, the same as long as they are at the same temperature the atomic mass of iodine is 126.9 now simple substitution the velocity of iodine which is given to us 15 over the velocity of value x unknown which is 17.7 equal radical molar mass of x over i2 because we have iodine gas i2 so 126.9 times 2 which is 253.8 i square both sides of the equation and do the math calculation to find that the molar gas of the unknown up to three significant figures 182 gram per mole what is the rms speed of argon molecules at zero degree which is the root mean square velocity root mean square velocity okay the uh, the formula for uh, root mean square velocity u rms equal radical 3 rt over m why 
u which is the velocity expressed in meter per second for compatible units r here it's not 0 0.0821 we have to use 8.3145 uh, kilogram meter square per second such that the units are compatible the temperature should be in kelvin and the molar mass here should be in kilogram per mole because upon using these units the uh, unit of the velocity will be meter per second now just we will make simple uh, substitution and calculation so it will be 3 times 8.3145 multiplied by the temperature in kelvin 0 degree which is 273 over the molar mass of i2 is 39.948 but i will multiply by 10 negative 3 because it should be expressed in kilogram and the final answer for URMS up to three significant figures, 413 meter per second. Number nine, diborane reacts with oxygen to give boric acid and water vapor according to the following equation. If we mix diborane and oxygen in the correct stoichiometry ratio as it's noting in the balance, and if the total pressure is 200 milliwatt or the partial pressures of the two gases. So we want to find the partial pressure of B2H6 and the partial pressure of O2. The formula, partial pressure for B2H6 equal the mole fraction of B2H6 times P total. In mole fraction, it's the number of mole of B2H6 over N total multiplied by P total. What is the number of mole from the given equation? It's 1. And total here 1 and 3 so the total number of moles 4 multiplied by the P total which is 200 so the partial pressure of B2H6 is 50 millimeter mercury we can use the same methodology to find O2 or simply the P total it's the summation of partial pressures of the gases P total it's 200 P oxygen now I need to find and this one I found 50 so P oxygen up to three significant figures 150 millimeter mercury and like this I found the partial pressures of these gases now to determine the molecular formula for the boron hydrogen compound you place 0 0.325 gram of the gaseous compound in so he gave me mass and he gave me the volume if it exerts a pressure also pressure is given 3 to 5 millimeter mercury at 22 what is the correct molecular formula let me use the ideal gas law formula pv equal an rt instead of n i can write mass over the molar mass so m over times rt which means from this formula, the molar mass is equal MRT over PV. Now let me substitute, keep in our minds the correct units. So the mass should be in gram. So it is 0 0.325 gram or 0 0.0821 atmosphere liter per Kelvin mole. Temperature 22. If I add 273 to change into Kelvin 295 and the pressure 325 divided by 760 to be in uh, liter which is 0 0.428 multiplied by the volume that should be in liter and it is in liter 0 0.346 so the answer up to three significant figures 53.2 gram per mole now it came the time to choose in between these compounds the molar mass of b2h6 28 the molar mass of b2h5 27 definitely keep in your mind that boron is 11 hydrogen is 1. b4h10 it's molar mass this is the molar mass gram per mole gram per mole b4h10 is 54 gram per mole B5H7, its molar mass is 82 gram per mole, and B2H3 is 25 gram per mole. So the answer that I got goes closely to part C, and part C is the correct answer. Now, 
number 11, uh, whose law describes the following relation between volume and temperature, it goes for Charles. So it's Charles law. If you still remember Charles law, it is V1 over T1 equal V2 over T2 when the pressure and the number of mole of the gas are constant. The relationship between temperature and pressure, it goes for Gay-Lussac. It goes for Gay-Lussac's law. And they are directly proportional to each other. So T1 over P1 equal T2 over P2 such that the volume here and the number of mole of the gas are constant. Now, uh, relationship between pressure and volume, it goes for Boyle's law. Uh, the pressure and the volume are inversely proportional to each other. So P1, V1 equal P2, V2 under the condition that the temperature and the number of mole of the gas are constant. Number 12, a container with 50 grams of hydrogen and 50 gram of oxygen has a pressure of 1050 milligram. What is the partial pressure of each gas? Definitely to find the partial pressures, let me start finding the number of moles. So the number of mole of hydrogen, 50 over two, which is 25 moles. That of oxygen also mass over molar mass, 50 over 32, which is 1.56 moles. And now the end total, it's 26.56 moles upon the additions of N2 and uh, of N of O2 and N of H2. Now let me start uh, applying the rules. Partial pressure of hydrogen is the mole fraction of hydrogen times P total. Mole fraction is the number of mole of hydrogen over N total times P total. Substitute, which is 25 over 26.56 multiplied by 1050. So the pressure of hydrogen equal 988 millimeter mercury. I can use the same methodology to find the partial pressure of oxygen or simply that P total is equal P hydrogen plus P oxygen. So 1050 equal 988 plus partial pressure of oxygen. So the partial pressure of oxygen will be a 62 millimeter mercury. Now, number 13, equal masses of helium and neon are placed in separate containers of equal volume at the same temperature. So, what, uh, what is true about the pressure of the gases? First of all, the conditions is that the same volume and they have the same temperature. I can compare, quick comparison between helium and neon, I can divide pressure, helium, volume, equal number of mole of helium RT over the pressure of neon, V, N of neon times RT, because the number of moles, uh, number of moles are not the same, but the volume and the temperature are the same. So this will, and this will be canceled. R is constant, this and this will be canceled. So pressure of helium over pressure of neon equal number of mole of helium over number of mole of neon. They have equal masses. So instead of number of mole, I can write it's the mass of helium over four, which is its atomic mass, over the mass of neon over 20, which is its atomic mass. Masses are equal, so I can cancel them. And the answer, this will be 20 over four, which is five. I can reach the conclusion that the pressure of helium is five, the pressure of neon. That tells me that the pressure of helium is greater than the pressure of neon and part A is the correct answer. What about the number of atoms of helium and neon? For uh, helium, number of mole of helium, it's the mass over four for neon, as we said, for neon, it is number of mole of neon, mass over 20. Definitely the same mass 
and here the denominator less than this one which makes the number of moles of helium greater so and correspondingly the number of mole of atoms of helium are more so there are more atoms of helium than of helium now energies of the atoms as long as we are uh, talking about the same conditions of temperature it means the kinetic energy is always the same because simply kinetic energy is directly proportional to the temperature and this will be the correct answer and the average energy of helium atoms is the same as that of the 